morning everyone yes it's been a while yes i'm just trying to get into the you know recording the same things and i'm trying not to do that this year i'll tell you what i've been up to. i've been busy mind you busy, busy in the garden i'm busy today here we, we've got been to the we've been to the garden center we've got a few little plants which are going in some pots here and really like these kind of i call them like an acid burn looking at effect you know like a dripped acid i'm not sure like a glaze how they do it but that's got a that's actually this magnolia which i didn't realize you can eat the the flowers is gonna go in this pot share this is a big pot there share that big grass there because what we're hoping for is something like this you know if you put them in nice big pots them grasses and a bush you get a lovely you get a lovely display that you can leave is there anything up there no and you notice there's actually only the onions that are sowed you know and left in the pots these have just been out there i've took everything up to the got there's been lots happening in the allotment but first let us show you in little greenhouse yeah it's all going here as well there's been a big change going on so first up me heath robinson has gone yes so this now what i'm doing now is running this is the propagator without anything you know without the lids on i've got it connected and i've just got it switched on so there's no thermometer or anything like that i've just got it switched on i've got me four aubergines there and i've still got a few here as well that's actually very light it needs a good water and these are me chilies <laughs> and me tomatoes remember i sowed i don't think you can see that. this of course you can see this row here is me crimson crush that are going outside somewhere so i've got i think there's about eight there eight nine what it's just like you see I'm, I'm i did them early just to get get them out you know what i mean they're in now we're all in the, the the clover compost which is down there like i said i popped to the garden i couldn't help get but getting one surely for the old boy there little nods up to the old boy there i could yeah i could have sown him but it was quite because he, he never did that that quite you know what i mean it's almost like a little oh, yeah, i'm doing it my way lad so got you know it's a good doer as as he used to say chilies mm. well, look man them three there these burnt jaloka ones what jaloka ones i don't know if that's how they go I, I don't think so you know i don't think after three months coming up to four months you know some of them are okay do you know what i mean like look at the ones that i didn't change over from the compost the silver grow look at i mean I don't know mate look at you tell me one was grown in silver grow and one was grown in normal kind of compost but but i have a little confession to make and it's not i'm not blaming silver grow now i think i blame myself because if you remember no one pointed out to us i've been you know i've got a little rant on potty mouth this greenhouse didn't get put up till Jan February. I don't think I got the electrics in until March, end of March, somewhere around there. So, and if you remember, I had them in my son's bedroom in one of these heat trays, south facing, warmest room in the house. So, it's got nothing to do with the compost. <laughs> I think it's all to do with the user experience, the user bloody uh, thing. No good, no good. But, and so maybe they've, they've been stunted. I don't know. I mean, some of them, like I say, I've got, you know, three that I'm happy with. What I did notice, though, was with, when I went to the, we got the garden centre purely for the, the, for the flowers, they had some chili plants and i swear swear to god i would have bought way loads but they only had like generic ones that like it just said hot chili you know or like sweet chili and they just 
that was just so nondescript. But they were all, let us just show you this one, they were all kind of that size, you know? So, you know, I've got some that are kind of, you know, they're getting the little leaves all dotted around. Maybe I might, I might not get as many, but mine at this moment look better apart from them three but Jaloga ones, you know, mine look better. So take that for what you will. Right then, look at this. So these are, this is all, this is me tomatoes, oh, me tomatoes. So I'm, I'm kind of all in on tomatoes now, forget chilies. <laughs> Bliss F1 tomato, they're up. What I'm intending to do is just leave them in a little bit longer. You can see these Consuelo tomatoes, they've getting, like the true leaves are coming. I'm just leaving them a little bit longer, let them get as much goodness as I can from, it seems, I'll just turn you around. In my experience, I leave them alone. I get a better, <laughs> better bloody show. So, Brad's Atomic have come up. Like you see, the Consuela Bliss F1. What's that, Burlesque, they're away. The Black Moon Tomatoes. Toddler F, the Toddler F1, Toddler Tomatoes. These are my leeks, the Musselboro leeks, they're all coming. Then I've got the Kale Nero, which is up and running there. What I've noticed, my salad, you know that Italian salad, it hasn't germinated as good as what I thought. But we'll just leave it, we'll see. Pork chop, tomato, that's what we mentioned on the potty mode. So I've got one, two, three, four. I think there's a one coming there. The Rebel Starfighter, fantastic name. I've got two, that looks like there's one coming. I'm not sure how Ian sent these seeds over, and I'm not sure, there wasn't that many, do you know what I mean? Lithuanian, not Lithuanian, <laughs> bloody hell, but I can't see, man. My printer's fantastic, but I can't see the words. Lithium Sunset, Lithuanian Sunset. So I've got three there, and the Alice Dreams, I haven't got a shown, not a bloody one. And Ian sent over as well a lucky dip, just one seed. Now I think GB's doing this lucky dip as well. It ain't come yet. You know, so they all came at the same time and I sowed them all, but my lucky dip hasn't, that's, that's, that's bloody typical of my look. The lucky dip hasn't come in and the Alice Dreams hasn't come and they're supposed to be lovely. So, but the pork chop's supposed to be, you know, um, Jess, forgot her name. Jess said the pork chop's nice as well. So, why don't we zoom up to the allotment? Because there's, like I say, there's loads going on, loads going on. Mine with the clocks going back, jump, sorry, jumping forward a day. This is now, it's like, if, if you're new to gardening, now's the time, perfect time to start sowing. So let me just show you. You might think nothing's happened, but there has there's been lots happening. I mean, bloody wheelbarrow. I'm not sure what that size is, but that wheel's totally gone there now. So I'm looking to get a new one. Actually, I could get, it doesn't really matter what size I could get a, on Amazon. There's like loads of 14 inch ones. If I go for the same make, it's 36 pound. So, Straight away, yeah, covered more beds with with cardboard. A few bikes, a few bikes in the kitchen there. The wife's going mad. But I put I brought some cardboard up and I brought it up to, to essentially cover that bed there. That's just to stain it, stem that lot from going back there. Do you know what I mean? I put a bit of compost on. Oh you can see a little bit, I don't know if it's hard to see a little bit of frost there. It was being a cold night. Put a couple of bags of compost on this bed. I tell you what, mind you, I'll not lie, look at this. Them leaves have just smothered the, the weeds. Do you know what I mean? They haven't blown away. My leeks are looking fantastic, you know what I mean? Same on here. Brilliant. So what have I been up to? Well, if you notice, there's nothing now in. I've took all the, remember I had the Brussels sprouts here? Just. I, you know, I'd never got to use them last year. There was a bit, you know, I went through a few things, but I've took all the cabbages, all everything. And I've actually just put, 
I didn't want to put them in my compost because it was just like thick stems. And yes, I've got a little, tiny little chainsaw, but I've just bagged it ready for the skip there. That's all my stuff there. So there was the, the and I've got Nero, you know, down there ready to, or not ready to come on, but, you know, sown anyways. And there was the little Brussels sprouts there. So all that's gone from here. What's still there, and I should have actually just pulled it. I have had a crop of me field sprouting broccoli, but I got one crop. Now that one's going to give one plant. Think of it like this, one plant, one crop. So I've got two more plants, so hopefully I can get them before I need this land for, for other things. I put, I put, <laughs> who are you lad? I put another couple of bags of compost on there. And actually I was just using the, the silver grow compost on, on the, the bed just to let it blend in. I'll, I'm not saying I'm going to dig it in, but I'll, I'll churn it up a bit. I don't know. I haven't been that impressed with it, but we'll, we'll see. Rhubarb. Now I picked some rhubarb yesterday. Just some like the very thin, just the, the new shoots there. Just enough for a little little kind of stew up. Because I've, I've some reason yesterday I had this. I want rhubarb and ice cream. Mel Mel, yeah, will you get some? She hadn't caught a bloody all the ice cream for us. So tonight we're having stewed rhubarb and ice cream for pudding. What else? Up. Oh, my broad beans, Put, planted me broad beans. So they're in there. These are masterpiece, which I, I sowed on the 22nd of February. Now they've been out hardened off for about a month now. They've been in the yard, in the, what we call the back, back garden. So that's all, you know, they'll just come. Again, a bag of, a bag of scrolch for the a two meter coverage is just awesome to be honest it's just not failed at all where the manufacturer says you can do three meters you can it i tried it and it's just far bed there but saying that the horse bedding is the same you know because it, it's the same kind of thing it's just it's not in and it's been excellent to be honest you know what i mean so whether which ones you get i can recommend both you know what i mean but you just you get way more for, <laughs> for a lot cheaper doing the horse bedding one. So, a little bit's been happening in the greenhouse. A little bit in the polytunnel, should I say. I tidied it up a little bit. Melanie got us a bag of this. Multi-purpose compost, John in this, and this was from Costco. And it's, that's why I need the, it's a ton weight. I don't know if it's got wet inside, but you know, I've got to be kind of careful with myself. But I'm just going to get some more of them and some more. Probably I've got two bags of clover, like full ones. I might get about three more bags and then see what we, we do with how much I need. Because I've got to, you know, mix it with the plants with vermiculite or especially the, the chilies, you know, and some other stuff. If you noticed as well, can you see my potatoes? They're coming through. So now I've got potatoes. Now, again... Turn you here. Perfect time for early potatoes and new, it's like second earlies as well. Do you know what I mean? Just perfect timing. So get them in. But I've had these in for quite a while there now. And I was thinking there was no sure, but no, no. They've come and they're protected. So, you know, they've, hopefully the frost will not get them in here. What I've noticed, can you see along the back? To be honest, I'm going to weed kill it around there. I just... I could pick it out, but I've noticed like that, and I've never seen that weed before, to be honest. So that needs to kind of be sorted. But yes, I've got me floating shelves up and looking all right, you know. I'm, I don't know, do you know what I mean? Maybe they've been me putting through, but I need to kind of probably put these into little pots now. And just see if I can get away. I don't like when I see the red leaves there. I think, you know, they've been kind of stunted. Cauliflower's looking all right. What else have I got in here? I'm leaving these on. People, these are my beetroot, which again, 
not that good that's you know the first time i'm going to do another sewing of them these are my spring onions which i sewed on the 19th of january you know what have i got in here oh these are the cabbages different cabbages like red cabbages in there these are the onions that we the boat they're called bonus f1 so hopefully they'll be all right yes i know everyone oh you're dumping off dumping off but not not taking a chance i've had a good good shot with them and they've worked so and i brought up my celeriac and is it they're all right for the time being you know what i mean so we'll see how them go let's see if i can get a, a decent celeriac i've got a few bags of rubbish because i've been tidying a little bit up and again i've got <laughs> bloody, I don't know which one's watch. One's Stuttgart, is it? I can't even remember now. And one's Red Baron. And my labels fell out because I only used the half labels. So I'll have to wait a little bit before I can tell which one's which. In the, in the bloody, if it's... Because I'm after the red ones. I have got some red. The red, red man, the sets. I've got some red heat treated sets. I was watching uh, Dan uh, Allotment Diaries and he swears by them. So I've got them as a, like a little, you know, and I can put them in and get them sorted out as well, just in case. So, yeah, like I said, I've, it doesn't look like much, but, you know, things are, things are happening. Now, what I need, like I say, I need a wheelbarrow wheel. Things are just a lot heavier for us. I don't know if it's just the age or just, you know, what's been going on. But I need, I've got to use a wheelbarrow instead of like humping everything. That's me, that's what's one of my goals, you know, because it's so easy just to go down and pick it up, but I kind of feel it later in the day. Well, there you go, at least there's, there's still things happening. Look after yourselves, take good care.